Okay, so we are going to be building a social network in Lava 5.3 and Vue.js 2.0. So I have a blank install of Lava 5.3 right here, and I've already set up my environment variables connecting to my database with my SQL. So the first thing we're going to do is actually run our PHP Adsense Make Auth so that we'll have a basic authentication system for our application, and we'll go ahead and modify that to suit our needs. So I'll go ahead and run PHP Artisan Make Auth. And that's simply going to scaffold the authentication that comes by default with Lava. If I go ahead and view my project in the browser, I have the login and the register views automatically set up for me. The next thing we're going to do is actually edit our create users table migration so that we'll put in some default fields that we'll need in our application. So I'll go ahead to my create users table. And what I'm going to do here is actually add in a field for the avatar of the user and I'm gonna head and I'll add in a slug. The next thing we're gonna want to do is actually edit our registers controller so that when we are registering a user into the database these two fields are gonna be taken care of. So I'll head over to my registers controller and right into the method that takes care of validation I'll want to make the name of the valid of the user that is coming in to be unique to the user's table. And why I want this is because I'm going to use the name to create the slug for that particular user. And it would be a disaster if the slug of a particular user is not unique. So I'll make that field unique. And the next thing I'm going to do is actually edit the create method so that when we actually register a user, the slug field is set. And Lavo comes with a chic in method called string slug. And this string slug is simply going to take the name that was passed in from the user and it's going to convert it into something like this. For example, if my name was Katy Franz from the front end, it's going to make it into something like this. Yeah, so it's just going to strip off all additional characters or decimal points and it's going to put hyphens in between the spaces. So it gives us a pretty much better way of identifying the user. So the next thing I want to do is actually edit the avatar field. So I'll have an avatar field in my database and the, this avatar is going to be equal to a variable avatar, which I'm going to set up right here. So I want my avatar. So I would like my avatar to be set up in such a manner. First of all, when the user signs in, what I would like to do is have the gender of the user, which we should probably include after this. And when I get the user's gender, I'll be able to determine if that user is male or female, and I will be able to assign a particular by default avatar to that particular user. So I think the first thing we should do is actually include the gender field into our table. So we're just going to have a boolean right here. And this is going to be called gender. So if the boolean is a 1, we'll say it's male. And if it's a female, we're going to put it as 0. So if we head over to our registers controller, we'll probably want to include the gender field. And we'll say this should be data. And we'll call the field gender. So in a validations array, we'll like to include the gender and we'll make it required and we'll make sure it's a boolean. Okay, so that sets it up. So now, right now we are, in include, we are receiving a gender field and that gender field is going to either be male or female. So what we're going to do is actually check if data gender so if it means if this particular user was a male, then we're going to set avatar to be equals to a string. And this is simply going to be a link for our storage. So, so a link to where we store the default avatar for the, re the newly registered user. So we'll have public and we'll have defaults, which we're going to create in a moment. And we'll say avatars and we're just going to say male.png and the uh, else we're gonna say avatar it's gonna be equals to pretty much the same thing 
but it's gonna be for female dot png so the next thing we we'll actually want to do is indicate these avatars in our storage directory so if i head over to my storage directory i have a an app directory and i have a public directory right in there i'm gonna create a new folder and i'm gonna call that folder defaults and in the defaults folder i'm also gonna have an avatars folder and in the avatars folder i'm gonna put in my male.png and my female.png and i just did and by the way my male.png it's a jpeg okay so the next thing we're gonna actually want to do is edit our register view so that we'll be able to get the gender field from the user once he's trying to register so go ahead to my register.blade.png and i'm just go ahead i'm just gonna create a new form group and uh, this is gonna be called the gender field and it's not gonna be an input it's gonna be a select And the name of this field is going to be gender. You can have an ID of gender. And in here, we're just going to have two options. The first option is going to be a value one, and it's going to be male. The second is going to be a value zero, it's going to be female. Okay. So the next thing we want to edit is the arrows fields. So we have gender right here. And uh, we're also going to have the gender right here in case of validation fails. OK, so that's set up. So if we submit our form now, if we check out our form now, we have a new gender field. And by default, it's male. And the user changes, the user has to choose if he's male or female at the beginning of registration so let's go ahead and see what's happening here so first of all we set up a new gender field in our registers page so the user is able to present us with his gender by the by the time he's registering into the application and he presents us with the name email password field and then he registers into application then the next phase is that it gets into the registers controller which we check and validates the data that is coming into our application so the name is supposed to be unique to the user's table and we also make sure that the gender that is coming in is a boolean as we specified in our register.blade.php either one or zero so the next thing we did was actually edit our create method where we actually specify the particular default user avatar that is assigned to the user who is registering into application so if the gender is a male we're going to assign that to male.jpg and if the gender is a female we're just going to assign that to female.png and these two images are stored in our storage directory publics folder which, which we are going to review in a later lesson so the next thing we do is actually is call the create method on the user class and what this does is saves the avatar depending on if it's female male or female and it also stores a slug so we can use to identify our users and which is simply the string slug version of our name that was presented in our field so let's go ahead and test this out and before we do we'll actually have to migrate this to our database so let's go ahead and migrate Okay, that's created and the one little thing before we try that out is actually make those two fields fillable in our in our model so right here where we have fillable we're gonna include the slug the gender and the avatar and there in our registers controller everything looks great so let's go ahead and try it out in our browser so first of all a name so I'm gonna see I'm catch friends and the email is gonna be catchy at friends.com and the password is password password the gender field is required it means that is not being passed in in our registers controller for some reason okay there it is supposed to be a little G and not a big one okay let's refresh and see what's going on so catchy friends catchy at friends.com 
and let's go ahead and register and we're logged in so that works so let's go ahead and check a user in our database using php at santinka and we'll just say me is equals to app user first and there i am so the slug has been set as predicted and the avatar since i've registered as a male is male.jpg and my name is set and the gender is set so everything looks great